Hey guys, welcome back to the Outcheaping YouTube channel. My name is Austin, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the first upgrade to this 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee by putting some tow hooks on the front of it. Now overall, it's going to be a fairly simple process, so let's get started. Alright, so before we get started on the Jeep, let's take a quick look at all the parts that we're going to be installing today. So obviously, first thing is our tow hooks. Right here, I went with some Rough Country ones. They're fairly inexpensive, and they look pretty good once they're installed. And what also came with that is we got some hardware right here that we're going to use to bolt these on. Now up here, we also have a lower grill section for this Jeep. And the reason why I'm replacing that is because these actually came with cutouts already in them. Now you may find that you have a lower grill that already has cutouts or some of them actually have block up plates um, that are able to pop out basically but not all of them come like that and the Jeep that I'm working on today just has the block out plates that is actually the same piece as this so technically I could cut them out but I think uh, for the price I got this it was easy enough to just uh, get a new one that way I don't have to deal with cutting it out and making sure it looks good. Um, this I purchased for only 30 bucks through the dealer. That was actually the cheapest place I found it for. Other places were 50 bucks and up. But that's pretty much it. Um, you're just going to need basic hand tools to get this on. Um, we're going to go over to the Jeep and I'll show you. We're going to have to remove the lower bumper section on the Jeep to be able to pull that out, get these installed, uh, fit this onto the lower bumper, and then put it all back together. So let's head over to the Jeep. All right, so taking a look at the front of the Jeep, once again, this is our lower bumper section that's going to be removed. Basically where this trim line is all the way through here, the painted section is going to stay on with the vehicle. And uh, basically we have to remove that to be able to get to those uh, bolts for installing our tow hooks. And also this is the lower grill section. As you can see, these are all blocked off right here and these ones actually don't pop out. So we will be replacing this whole entire section here once we get that lower bumper section off. Now to remove this, it's fairly simple. All we have are seven clips. They're going to be on the underside right under here and they're basically just twist off so we twist them 90 degrees and pull them out and then should just release from there now once those clips are out what we'll do is we'll start over towards one of the wheel wells and pull directly straight out and this whole section should come off nicely all right so taking a closer look at the underside of the front fascia as you can see these are our clips right here that are twist off 90 degrees all we have to do is twist it 90 degrees and pull straight down so we have three of them that are right here in the middle and then there's also going to be one on either wheel well in the fender liner that basically attaches the lower fender liner to this front fascia. Um, mine, for some reason, are missing um, along with all these other plastic acres because it uh, looks like this bumper has been replaced before and whoever replaced it didn't put all the hardware back. Uh, but anyway, you're going to want to do those couple as well and then we should be ready to pull out this front bumper. All right, so now with all those clips out, I'm going to take the lower section of the bumper and start to pull it out. I'm going to start over here on a wheel well section, pull it straight out, and then it should declip with a bunch of little tiny clips all along the seam, and then we should have it removed. Now I'm just going to work it all the way to the other side. piece right here was actually supposed to be connected to that front bumper but it was missing all four of those clips along the bottom or attaches right here so that's why that came off um, it was also held on by those three that we took off in the center so when I put this back on I'm just gonna put this on first with those three clips and then put the lower bumper back on and then order some uh, plastic acres to uh, hold the rest of this in all right so now with our lower bumper off of here we can start to actually install our tow hooks and it's fairly simple now, as you can see, I'm starting over here on the passenger side. So this is going to be left of the radiator. You can see the bottom of the frame rail right here. And in there, we got two welded nuts that are on the inside of the frame. That's going to correspond with our new hardware that's going to thread into there. So now since this Jeep has been in the rust belt for a few years, I went and already uh, took an M10 bolt, same thread as this, and uh, just chased the threads through here. I'll make sure there's no uh, rust binding up just to kind of clear them out. So chase them through so they're nice and clean. Now we're ready to install. 
One thing I'm gonna do, you don't have to, but uh, since I do live in a rusty climate, take a little bit of anti-seize and put them on these bolts before I install them. To mock this up real quick, you wanna make sure you have the right size. So we're gonna have the hook kind of facing towards the center with the RC logo uh, faced up, and that's gonna fit right in here. So I'm gonna get our hardware and then we'll start to put this into place. Now with these bolts, they do come with a lock washer and a washer on there, so you're gonna to wanna to put that on there before we install this. I'm gonna start with the back one first since the first one is a little bit recessed and kind of hard to do it by hand at first. And you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket to tighten these up. I'm gonna leave that a little bit loose and now we'll get this guy into place. Now with them both in, I'm going to evenly tighten these up so they're nice and tight. With this back one, it's easy to just go in through the side around this uh, front cross member and go through basically the wheel well to get your socket in there. Now one thing I did notice while tightening this up, you want to make sure you tighten it up evenly because uh, this can actually shift a little bit and then you can't get the socket necessarily on there because it's such a tight uh, fit within here. Um, so you want to make sure they're both nice and tight and the socket goes on nicely for both of them and then tighten this the rest of the way down. Now I didn't find a specific torque spec on these but you want to make sure they're nice and tight because this is going to be a functioning tow point for this vehicle. All right that guy is nice and solid and installed. Now we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. Now over here on the driver's side, it's going to be a little bit more difficult since we can't get through the wheel well to get that back bolt since we got the washer tank right here. So it's going to be a little bit more tighter getting that back bolt in. So this back one, I'm just going to need to come through the front. Not as much range on uh, getting this torqued down, but we'll just have to work with it. All right, that's all tightened up right there. Now, before we put our lower bumper back on, I'm gonna go over and swap out that grill quick. All right, so taking a look at the back side of the lower bumper piece, um, to remove this lower grill right here, what we have to do is pop out these white clips right here. It's fairly simple. We're just gonna take a screwdriver, put it in between, and then take another screwdriver and uh, pinch that little center tab right here, and then push with the other screwdriver, and this should pop out of place just like that. So I'm gonna go around and do that to all the white clips. Then this should be able to pop out by pushing on these tabs right here. As you can see, it's already getting loose and that'll pop out this lower grill section. All right, so with all those white clips out, we should be able to push on these black tabs, which are actually connected to that lower grill section. Just gonna pop them out and push them through. start to see that already separating. And there we go. That is our old lower section right here. As you can see, that's all one piece that's molded in. You can take this and cut it out if you want to, if you don't want to purchase the one that already has the cutouts in it, but to go with a cleaner look, I'm replacing it with the new one. So I'm gonna go do that and pop that back into place. All right, slip this underneath line up the tabs on our new lower grill with the corresponding slots over here on the lower bumper. Just 
slowly work them in. And actually, I'm going to flip this over so I can line this up better. Flip this back over. Now, I'll take our clips and push them back into place on the spots that they were. You'll know because they have these little uh, cutouts. So there's four on each end. All right, that's all installed. Now we're ready to install this back onto the vehicle. All right, so I got my piece reattached right here, how it's supposed to be. Um, didn't have any plastic clips on hand, so I just used some quarter inch bolts, which should be fine. This is a little bit cracked and stuff like that, so I'll probably just have to replace this piece later on. Um, but it should hold that bumper on nice and tight because before, um, the lower part was actually pretty loose because this part um, helps attach uh, this lower bracket into place and actually kind of clips it on and nice and securely. Uh, but since that is on, we can go and put this back into place. So I'm actually going to start right in the middle, line up our little clips with our little holes in the upper part of the front bumper and push it straight in. Just work around on either side and keep pushing it into place. Clip in over there. There we go. The last thing we'll do is we'll take our clips and put them into place. We got three underneath right here in the middle. And then we got a couple on either end that's gonna hold that fender liner in. And I believe there's actually one in the corner that was also missing. Um, so a total of seven clips you're gonna push into here. So we'll take our twist connectors, push it in and turn 90 degrees. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up. That was a fairly easy install, wasn't too hard to do. Just popping off the front bumper and bolting them on pretty much. But I love the look of the tow hooks, definitely gives it a more aggressive look. Maybe in the future we'll put a lift on this with some bigger tires as well. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you guys are following along, doing this on your own Jeep Grand Cherokee, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button for the Out Jeeping YouTube channel. It helps keep these videos coming. Like always, I'll post a link in the description below for all the parts that I use in this video, including that lower grill piece if you need it on your Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now I do have some out Jeep decals if you guys want to help support the channel, including some Grand Cherokee decals as well. I'll post that in the link below for my out Jeep store over on Etsy. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.